I'm just going to be honest and say that a lot of you guys are ignorant people. Um, a lot of you guys think that you can just work a loser job from now until when you get to retirement age, let's say 67 years old. And that's going to be enough. That's going to be enough for you to fund your retirement. And my first thing is, well, what makes you think you're going to be able to even work until you reach 67 years old? Oh, excuse me. What makes you think that you're going to even be able to work that long? Because we know that there's no such thing as job stability anymore. We know there's no job security. We know that people have lost their jobs at a rapid rate since 2020, the pandemic. We know that people have had to take lower jobs just to stay afloat. And um, I'm looking at this situation and I'm thinking there's a lot of things you have to contend with. You could fall into poor health, automation is another factor, right? Automation is another factor. And um, the way I see it is that you cannot live like that, you cannot live on the edge like that, because you're setting yourself up for a world of hurt. That's what you're setting yourself up for. You see, I know in myself, okay, that I'm under no guarantee whatsoever that I can stay in business until I'm in this industry that I'm in, until I reach, let's say, my 60s. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I know I'm under no guarantees of that. And that's why I'm trying to cash in as much money as I can. Squeeze as much juice out of the orange. Until it runs dry, essentially. But. See, I'm not as ignorant to believe that I'm going to be able to do this forever. No, because I think that's a very ignorant belief. To be honest with you, I think that's a very ignorant belief. I know that for me, I've got a limited amount of time. But let's talk about jobs and then we'll we'll go on to business briefly. In regards to jobs, jobs such as working as a truck driver, which people are still starting careers as truck drivers. God knows why. But working as a truck driver Delivering food, doing food delivery, delivering parcels, driving taxis, Uber. I mean, Uber is going, um, Uber's going away anyway, but you get my drift. We know that these jobs are going to be automated. We know that. 
these jobs will be automated. People will lose their jobs to robots, to AI technology. And that's going to be in a lot less than 30 to 40 years. Most of you guys have 30 to 40 years at least. Ooh, excuse me, until you reach retirement age. Most of you guys have that kind of time, so you really have to think long term. You have to think long term. I mean, I look at the business world and take take a walk down your local high street, and I see people are still opening up coffee shops. Coffee shop being a struggle business, number one, but number two, it's bizarre because. I'm a firm believer that independent coffee shops are going to the wayside. We're not going to see independent coffee shops down the line. I mentioned before that McDonald's is committed to opening up new restaurants. Okay. Um, I've spoken about that. How McDonald's is fully committed to opening up restaurants. Oh. McDonald's cheapest coffee, I believe, is 99p. Get a, I think it's just a plain coffee for 99p. I think a latte is less than two pounds, I believe. In a coffee shop, you're paying over three pounds for that. Sometimes people like to support their independence, but gets to a point whereby you know you're cash strapped it's a tough economy if you can save a pound pound fifty you're gonna do it and um, a lot of people are going to be priced out i can see myself being priced out of the industry that i'm in i, I can see that happening in the future i can absolutely see that happening absolutely so this is where it gets into being strategic. We're going to talk about that a bit later. But, you know, I had one guy who made a video about me, later took it down, okay? He made a video about me and later took it down. But... I thought he'd learn his lesson. I still watch him. So I went to his video and I had a look and he said the unreal man, I disagree with the unreal man in regards to working loser jobs. And when it comes to my views on loser jobs, I really consider it non negotiable. I consider it non-negotiable because when it comes to work in these kind of jobs, I base my views on what's going on in the real world. When it comes to working these jobs, I'm so against them because I understand what's happening to people. That work these jobs. See, 28% of people in the UK are dying in poverty. Currently, currently 28% of people in the UK are dying in poverty. I think in the USA is projected to be 40 to upwards of 55 percent of people are set to die in poverty and um, this number is only going to grow as time goes by so 
for somebody to say that they disagree with the unreal man see you're saying that because you want to defend your position because you want to run away from your reality because you don't want to accept your reality you don't want to accept your reality you don't want to accept the position that you find yourself in because it's far easier to deny the reality than accept the brutal harsh reality that you're going to die in poverty i mean we've got people out there who they have no progeny they have no long-term partner and they've got nobody to help them once their parents go that's it your siblings they got their own kids and nobody else even knows who you are and if they do they don't even care this is the point that you know if, if you're a guy a single guy you got to make sure that you have your retirement sorted out you got to cover your retirement and when somebody comes out and says things like i disagree with the unreal man i think you are influencing people very negatively to disagree with a message that is based off of not somebody's opinion but based off of the reality based off of the studies that were done based on the research and the statistics that were provided i mean you can sit there and disagree with the unreal man but at the end of the day who's being punished is you the one that's going to be punished for how you live your life at the end of the day you're the one who's going to die in poverty not me see because i'm all about solutions i'm not all about trying to make myself feel good about the position i find myself in no i'm not i've spoken out against the feel good factor i don't prioritize feeling good over obtaining what i want out of life see because i'm not defeated i'm not pushing doomerism i don't believe that there is no solution i believe truly that there is a solution if i didn't believe in solutions i wouldn't even have this youtube chat i wouldn't even bother coming on here what's the point coming on here i come on here to show people that there are solutions that it can be done and you can fight your way out of poverty but like i said you've got to be strategic see when i talk about expatriation okay when i talk about expatriation that is strategy we went to another country that is strategic that's not just something that is done on a whim see i wouldn't promote moving to another country unless i was absolutely convinced that it's a good idea that it will work that is beneficial to the people i promote that because i know what i'm saying I a few years back was pushing the expatriation message and I told people to leave the west in order to do what in order to escape economic depression okay I told people that now we look few years down the line and we see that the economy in the UK and in Europe in particular is in turmoil inflation is through the roof there's an energy crisis going on and um see I didn't know that there will be an energy crisis back then I told people that Southeast Asia is a good spot, right? I told people that. Lo and behold, Southeast Asia is a spot that 
because it's a tropical climate, you don't need heating. And heating is very expensive. Heating become very expensive. In the UK and other European countries. So you're already saving a big chunk just by moving over there. Even if it means you're an English teacher, you're still saving a big chunk. So at the end of the day, I was right. Just like I've been right on other things. But see, that is strategy. You're not going to make it in this game with no strategy. You're not going to make it. You're going to die in poverty. You have to be strategic. You have to start thinking about how can I manage my life in such a way that I can benefit from my decisions instead of being a victim of my decisions. A lot of you guys have never really benefited from your decisions. You've just been a victim from your decisions. You went to university, it wasn't a great, you know, decision for a lot of you guys. You just become a victim of your own decisions. Just like me when I chose to play video games at the beginning when I started my business back in 2016. I chose to play video games. I became a victim of my decisions. It was a stupid decision. But I did it anyway. But the point that I'm making is that Being strategic is the only way. It's really the only way that you're going to come out of this mess. See, you've got guys talking about saving on taxes, going to Dubai, and you've got these channels, and they say go to Dubai and pay zero taxes. And some people don't like that, but these people are setting themselves up and protecting themselves they're protecting themselves they're trying to protect themselves from paying high taxes and they're keeping that money for themselves because they realize that these taxes that people are paying are keeping them basically down they don't want to be kept down, so they empower themselves by developing these strategies that allow them to fight. See, this is the thing. You have to fight the situation that you're in. And you don't fight it by going to the gym. A lot of advice, oh, I'll go to the gym, this and that. Going to the gym is just, you know, good for your health, but... It's not going to change your reality. There's a lot of bad advice. We're not here to talk about that right now. But there's a lot of bad advice in this men's community. In this manosphere as they call it. Um, this is all about using your head. Using what's inside that big head of yours. That's what this is all about. See. Some of you guys go through your life with no strategy. Go to your loser job. Come home. And repeat the same cycle again. Yeah, if that's how you're going to live your life, you're finished. It's that simple. You're finished. You're finished if you're going to keep living your life like that. You know, you're, you're absolutely finished. I don't believe in living my life like that. I refuse to live my life like that. I need to be more strategic. And I need to take my own advice. Right? We all need to do it. Because that's the only way. We want to set up ourselves for a good retirement. We've got to find a solution. We don't want to die in poverty. We don't want to work, lose our jobs and be humiliated. Have people twice our age. No, sorry, half of our age. Being our boss, telling us what to do. And, and have a humiliating life. Dying a lonely, broke old man. Uh, in some crappy, dingy apartment somewhere. I mean, 
we don't want to do that. So we're going to have to start finding a solution, man. That's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to start finding a solution. Okay. And I want you guys to put in the chat. What is your solution? Put that in the comment section. What is your solution? Because that's one thing that you guys don't want to talk about. You don't want to talk about solutions because you're pretending. You're running away from your reality and you're pretending that you're doing self-improvement. You're not doing self-improvement by watching my channel. Watching my channel is not self-improvement. Self-improvement is doing what it takes to improve your situation. That's what self-improvement is. You have to do what it takes to improve your situation. You can't just sit there and pretend that you're, you know, oh, you ain't doing jack doing jack and stop believing that you're doing jack stop believing that you're doing something you are doing nothing and i know you ain't doing nothing because this is something that you really really shy away from you shy away from it you shy away from talking about solutions let's start talking about solutions because i know you guys are in dire straits not all of you but some of you guys are in dire straits i know that so let's start talking about solutions man it's about time. It's about time. This is not some doomerism channel. This is all about solving your problems. I'm only here for that. If I didn't believe the problems could be solved, I wouldn't even be here. I won't waste my time. You see, I believe and I know and I understand that there are solutions. If you're going to expat, then Think about, you know, what you have to do to expat. If it means you have to be an English teacher, think about that. If you can start an online business, think about that. But my take on living here in the UK is very simple. You know, I'd say if you don't have a good job, okay, if you don't currently have a good job, if you don't currently have a good uh, location dependent business some kind of store or some kind of I don't know but a business that you really can't do in other countries you can't run it from overseas it's location dependent it's physically based which I recommend going non-physical you know, I do recommend going physical but of course if you're established you've got great clients you're growing i don't i don't tell people to to not continue it but unless you have a good job and some of you guys might say what is a good job because i advocate expatriation if you don't have a good job okay, but what is a good job I'll tell you what i believe job is so what I believe, okay, a good job would mean that you're in a situation whereby, you know, you basically can work, okay, a job that has, of course, a good salary. You might say, what is a good salary? We're going to get into that. But obviously a retirement plan that is um, going to cover a comfortable lifestyle after you finish work okay and as far as the salary goes you should have a good benefits package as well and as far as the salary goes it should be able to cover okay and this is irrespective of whether you have it or not should be able to cover your wife, your kids, okay, a good lifestyle, standard of living. You can find that out based on your own country, but it should be able to cover a relatively high standard of living for your wife, for your kids, without any additional income required, without your wife working 
that's what I would consider a good job. Some people say, oh, I've got a good job, but yet they're just scraping by. No, that's not a good job. That's not a good job, man. I mean, you're not in a good job. You're just pretending. But see, a lot of people are pretending. A lot of people are pretending. I mean, that's the harsh reality of the situation. That A lot of people are pretending that their situation is decent when their situation is... is, 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 is uh, they're in dire straits. Their life is in turmoil. And you know, the best thing you can do is admit. You need to put your hands up and admit and say, yes, my situation is, is terrible. And I have to make major, major, major changes. So yeah, I would say if you don't have a good job, if you don't have a business that's location dependent and you have great clients and you're growing and you're earning well, I'd say it's time to leave the UK. I'd definitely say it's time to leave the UK. Because every year you stay in the UK, if you're not, you know, doing something like I'm here because I'm fixing my businesses, you know, I wouldn't even be here right now. If, you know, I was performing at the level that I wanted to. See, because if I go to another country right now, the issue I'm going to have is I'm going to be trying to adjust to that country while simultaneously trying to grow a business, which over the long haul would work. But my decision is to stay here for a bit longer and then and then jet off. See, the thing is, is that a lot of guys, they think they have it better being here. But realistically, you don't have it better being here because you're not actually building a future. You're just living check to check. So you're getting poorer as time goes by. You're getting weaker as time goes by. Your situation is getting worse as time goes by. Absolutely. And I understand that. I understand that in order for you to retire comfortably, you're going to have to make sure that you live on a fraction of what you make. I mean, Alex Ramosi said live off 10% of your income. Um... Living off 10% of your income is not practical for most people, especially if you're in the West. But it can be done in other countries, absolutely. But the most important thing is covering your retirement. That's the most important thing. The most important thing is seeing how much it's going to cost you to retire, covering that. Before you start spending money on expensive um, gadgets and gizmos and cars and jewelry and clothes and etc. etc. The most important thing is covering your retirement because at the end of the day, none of us want to be scrimping and scraping in our 50s, 60s and 70s. I'll be honest with you bro, I'd rather die. And be scrimping and scraping in my 50s, 60s, and 70s. If you're gonna scrimp and scrape, scrimp and scrape now. See, people got it backwards. They think that, oh, you know, live it up in your youth. And this is one thing I really hate about millennials. Live it up in your youth and then die in poverty. That's one of the dumbest things because when you're old, you need the money. Because you may not even have money coming through. You may be sick. You know, whereas when you're young, you know, you don't really, your expenses, I mean, you don't really need the money necessarily. I mean, it depends, but at the end of the day, you've got to really think about, as an old man, you need stuff like heating. 
or you need to be you have you're less capable you're less able you're less mobile so that's the thing it's about time you make the money now so that you can retire in luxury see i don't push get rich quick i push what is realistic which is retirement you know getting your retirement sorted out your retirement could be 40 your retirement could be 50 you could be forced to retire if you are forced to retire you want to have those funds covered okay however much it's going to take you a lot of you guys have not even sat down and done a bit of you know research about how much it's even going to cost you you think oh retirement's a long way away well like i said it's not necessarily a long way away you don't know when it's coming you don't know when it's coming i mean it could hit you at any time really but i'm just trying to give you guys some context because i do genuinely believe a lot of you guys are, are lost you're misguided you're confused and um, you don't seem to realize that this world is, is changing and it's changing for the worse more and more people are dying in poverty you cannot afford to just you know be some guy just um working these jobs and thinking that somehow it's enough no it's not enough i've advocated side hustles i've advocated expatriation i've advocated online businesses i've advocated everything i can advocate to you but if your mind is messed up or if you're inept and incapable then you know there's nothing i can do for you like i said before this channel's for people like me see my main issue was my mindset my main issue was video games of course those are my main issues i've still got minor issues that i have to contend with and i may have to contend with those for the rest of my life but it's about fixing the main issues that you have and so many people are reluctant to do that because they are stuck in their ways they're stuck in their ways and they are basically stuck in an in a, in, a, in, a, in a comfort zone and that's why expatriation is something you know i'm all about a fresh start i'm all about a change of scenery because when you do that you actually become better you become better because you get out of that rhythm and that rhythm that's not working for you and you create a new rhythm and that rhythm is going to be better suited to you and your self-improvement and making progress so i mean look i've said what i need to say it's on Roman here, the truth of man's fear. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already, and make sure to hit that notification bell so you're informed every time I upload a new video.